Hey, so what's up? This is the Soccer Life Mastery Podcast here, and today I'm bringing you something very, very special. It's an audio from 2017 again, but this is one of my favorite speeches I've ever, ever made. It's about if I could go back in time and be 13 years old after knowing everything that I know now, after having gone through all the experiences that I've gone through as a 20-year-old person that I am now, what would I do? What would the steps that I would take to give myself the best opportunity to become a world-class soccer player, to get that pro contract. And so this is going to be super vital. I advise taking notes. I would advise um, just taking the time to literally listen to this. This is something that you don't want to just uh, passively listen to. This is actually a very, very detailed audio. So I hope you enjoy it. This is only part one. There'll be a part two because I believe this is a two-part process to become a professional soccer player. This is my opinion. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know. Anyways, let's get into it. Got a question from Christian Mac underscore 11 on Instagram. Check him out. Probably put it up here. He, he says, is there something a 13-year-old can do to start his journey to become a pro? Should I be contacting coaches, scouts, or agents, or am I just too young? So what would I do when I, if I was 13? If I could go back in time, what do I think I would do to just give myself the best career possible? Well, I, I know for a fact there's only, there's, in the most basic sense possible, there's two things. You have to be the best and you have to, let peop, you have, to have people know that you are the best. Two simple steps. That's all you have to do. But actually taking action on those two steps and completing those two steps are completely two different things. So at the age of 13, the first step I would say is to, the first point I would make is that all you have to do at age 13 is literally just become the best. All you have to focus on is becoming as good as possible, improving as quick as possible, become the best as quick as possible. I said that a million different ways. One of them was the correct grammatically, maybe not, I don't know. And so what does this actually mean? So for me, there's a lot, what I'm all about is soccer life mastery and that's what this is about mastering all all aspects of soccer of the soccer life and mastering all of them so you can be the best that you can be so you can expand your potential and you can be the best if not just your best so what does this mean firstly at age 30 you're young you can make sure learn educate yourself on how to not fall into bad habits that's key secondly i would advise you to because you're you're young you're still molding into um, muscular imbalances on all this stuff. All it is about is just educating yourself. Understand that there's a lot of ways that people train and it's not correct at all. And it, it forms a lot of bad consequences for the future. So a lot of people, all they do, you're, you're probably coaches would just say push-ups and sit-ups and you become the best. But that is completely wrong. You'll mess up your body completely. You'll be ending up like this. You're going to have back pain. You're going to have all kinds of just bad um, biomechanics. And your performance, you'll play worse because of it. Trust me, it's just science, it's proven, it's legitimate. So, I'll speak on all of this later. I'm just going to give you the topics of all these things. And I'll speak on these topics dedicated to their own video. So, that's one of them. You're going to end up like this if you do sh- just push-ups and just sit-ups. Because all your training is the front side of your body and not the back side of your body. Simple muscular imbalance. You have to train both of the... Pr- like the the two opposing muscles, like the bicep and the tricep, train them equally, okay? Also, another thing that is not really ever spoken about, just setting up good lifestyle habits, like waking up early, taking maybe cold showers, doing breathing and meditation, sort of things like this, you know? Things that you just adapt throughout your day, and and because you're young, it will just become normal, you know? Just keep at it, and by the time where it's crucial years, where it's 17, 18, and beyond... You're gonna just—it's gonna be normal to you. It's gonna be just—it's just how I live my life. So that's what you want to do at a young age. Set yourself up, because a lot of people get crazy. They—they they think they're 13, so they—they they, they go balls blazing to the 15, and they think, oh, I'm not in a, a Liverpool academy or a first division academy, and now my career's over, and I'm just gonna be like shit, you know, just live my life like crap. And then when I'm 17, I realize, oh crap, people are still making it, and then you start to push it again. Just start from a young age, 13 years old, and just go consistently. Because there's no age where you can't, you can, like, you're not allowed to be a professional player. There's no age. It's just life gets in the way of things, okay? So you're 13, you've got 
plenty of years, 10, 20 years. Yeah, so uh, along, with, along with lifestyle, it's just make good habits. Start building your, your own standards of how many times you want to be training a week. You're 13, start, at, start lower amounts of training, then build up and build up and build up. And by the time you're 15 and 16, still very, very young, you're going to be training a lot of times a week. I'm not going to put out numbers because everybody's got their own limits. You're going to be training a lot of times a week and you're not going to be feeling tired and exhausted and getting um, hamstring injuries or calf injuries. You're going to just, you're going to, your body's going to be strong. Set up good habits. That's what pretty much my whole premise is about. Educate yourself and then set up good habits with the education that you've just learnt. And another thing, nutrition, probably the one of the biggest, if not, I think muscular imbalance, the biggest, and nutrition, the second biggest. Learn and educate yourself what to eat and how to give yourself long jeopardy, longevity, okay? So learn what's good to eat, what's bad to eat. Obviously, everybody knows Mac is, is bad, but why is Mac is bad? What else is in Mac is which is in pro, like packaged foods which you think are healthy? Learn about all this stuff. Learn about how to give yourself the most energy, the most um, nutri- nutri- nutrients to build strong muscles, not necessarily huge muscles, strong muscles. Give yourself the fitness and the energy to run out full games, run long, long runs, fast sprints. Learn what food, what food and nutrients your body actually needs and apply it and start applying it. You might at that age think green vegetables are disgusting, but just slowly adapt, adapt it. Have green vegetables with a bunch of hot sauce or whatever sauce you like and then just munch that. Slowly build up to these things. Your body will adapt, your tongue, your, your tongue buds, I actually think they adapt. You start to enjoying these things. I'm not sure if it's because, because some sort of brain um, positive sort of memory where you eat this healthy food which tastes bad but then you feel really good after it your body feels amazing so your body starts saying hey this tastes nice this makes me feel good it could be that i don't really know but it's a little bit of a theory so another thing which is kind of neglected is mental training meditation visualization verbalization um all this stuff to train your brain to be more positive and more mentally strong because this is what kills people's careers people because there's no matter what, you're going to come across the unexpected. And that is what is the most great, that's the most deadly thing in football. Because yes, one point is that, yeah, it comes with hard work. The football career comes with a lot of hard work. But more important to recognise is that it's emotionally and mentally draining. It will shred you. Because it comes with the unexpected, as I, as I just said. And it comes with injuries. And it comes with playing one bad game all of a sudden when you've been playing so well and you've just had this amazing opportunity this amazing trial and you play bad and you think everything's over and you've got no more opportunity everybody thinks that you're a big letdown that is what kills careers not the fact that you let down the fact that you you can't come back from the letdown and training yourself from a young age just being mentally strong composed control of your emotions not being reactive to external sort of influences that is what will get you through the bull crap the the obstacles the adversity, that's what will get you through and that's when you'll start to shine. That's when you start to, you see all those, the best plays that when you were younger, you see these players playing up ages, you think, wow, they're they're great players, they're very talented and in three years' time, they've quit football and you're still there pummeling through and then that next year, you get that contract. That's how it works. Survival of the fittest, you know, It's, it's a serious thing. So, thank you for listening to today's podcast. As I said, this is a two-step process, so step two will be coming out very, very shortly, so you stay up to date with everything that I post on Instagram. I'll be letting you know when the next podcast will be coming out. But I hope you got the value out of today's podcast, like I said you would. And um, so, enjoy it, put it into practice. This is Soccer Life Mastery Podcast. <laughs>